Hello Facebook and YouTube friends. After posting those photos about wanting to see more about this dog converted into a chicken coop, I was amazed on how many comments went through wanting to know more details about it. So let me go ahead and show you what happened with the dog kennel that was converted into a chicken coop. So basically, if you guys are looking for a place to put your dog kennel that you're converting to a chicken coop, you'll need to figure out what kind of a flat uh, bottom you need to set the coop on. You could do something like this, which is, um, these are 85 cents for the red ones, kind of like the brick color at Walmart. And you just basically, you know, put your two by fours, put sand in there, lay this out, and then you have a coop like this one. We call this the Malin Coop. It's a tractor. We took the wheels off. You can see them up there. The reason why we call them that is because we got it from Mary's daughter named Malin. And um, this is where the chicks are at. You know, they live in there. They come down. They do their thing. We raise the chicks in there or raise a variety of little things in there. And um, so this, because it's on the slope that goes and, you know, downhill, it had to have... Um, a wooden structure, it looks like a stage, and the benefit of that is the chickens can run under there if there's a hawk or an eagle. So on the outside, this is the paneling that you use on top of rooftops. Um, they come in all different colors, metals, rubbers, plastic. Um, remember the green version back in the day? Well, this is a clear version with this kind of a, a fog to it, and all of these have been cut out. So this part that you see here, that's all completely custom made. That was created and added to the top of this dog kennel, converted into a chicken coop. There is a rooftop with actual shingles, and there's a gutter that goes down that falls onto the ground. And this is the wood trim that you can buy and then stain it if you want. If you want to match it to anything, you don't have to stain it, but this actually looks really, really nice. And there's a little bit of crack opening there for ventilation, but you can close that up with um, wool or wire or chicken wire. Let me show you the back here. So this is completely the back. This is a, I believe, five feet wide, six feet tall by 10 feet long. But it has an extender. See, there's a bar that goes here and it has these bars that go across and you can extend it to the top. So here's the top. So in the inside, it's probably 11 or 12 feet high instead of 10 feet I think it is. This is that welded wire you can see right through it. See it's not chain link. It's a really good quality one. This is a custom one that Mary did order and um, had delivered. And a little platform area. You can see. Let me show you the inside. So as you step in here, we just have the water for the night time. This is the pine shavings for the chickens and for us to walk on. And then as you come in, that's where the chickens roost. We found those in the yard, and this is all sand. And basically what you do every single day is you just go in there with your oversized cat litter scoop, which is this one, and you pick it up, put it in your bucket every single day. And look at that, half full. So if you let this go for too many days, it'll be ridiculous. No smells in here. It smells like pine shavings. There are oyster shell, which is in a new form there. It's kind of like a grit oyster shell gravel type thing. This actually usually gets hang, hung up. Food goes in there. Custom nest boxes. Frisbee was used for the door opening, but we do need to put lips so the pine shavings and eggs don't fall out. Every day the eggs go in there. This is the inside. In the middle there's some support beams. It's been painted the same color as the house. There's that plywood that's compressed wood together extra supports that have been stained to match these little see how they kinda go in. It's for support so this doesn't wiggle and, and make a bunch of noise. And look at that. Ooh, going into lighting so it's kinda of bright. You're seeing trees in the background when you go right through this. So it's very roomy in here. Nobody perches up here, thank goodness. <laughs> so that's what it looks like in the inside and you can see this is the wire. It's a good quality type of wire. It goes up to this high, which it has these bars that go all the way across for support. Or you can put them up here and have it above your head and then cover it up with plastic or that stuff that you could buy online. And these are all panels. This is a simple panel that gets locked in place with just these things right here. Isn't that crazy? 
but you spend more when you have to do something a little bit more convenient. Ooh, let me adjust the lighting. Well, that doesn't work. So that's basically it. There's some ventilation on the cracks there. It's windy outside and there's no wind in here. Uh, when it snows, it's going to keep the snow out. When it rains, there's no rain getting in here. Um, I suggest put this up a little bit higher so when they scratch, they don't hit it, throw it in there like you see in there. Uh, when they bathe in the sand or poop in the sand, same thing, it doesn't come out. Build this a little bit higher so the pine shavings don't go over the edge like that. And then every day just water hose all that down. So that is the chicken coop. And the platform has been painted to match the house. I'm going too fast. Use the whiplash. <laughs> There's some of the others in the yard. And see, that's got paneling too. So this stuff here helps keep the snow and rain. And in the wintertime, it's kind of cozy. It's not that bad. All right, well, that's it. Thanks for watching, you guys. And um, hopefully you liked the video and I didn't make you guys have whiplash from all the shaking around. See you in the next video.